Welcome back my children to another 5 random Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Packs opening video. If you guys are wondering why I have a new balance shoe box here, it's because this is where I have all my Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Packs. And in the previous 5 random Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Pack opening videos, I just randomly, I don't randomly actually pick out 5. I kind of pick out the ones I have the most and pick out 5 out of, out of those. Sometimes I choose several some of the packs that I don't have too many of. But this time I really want to do it randomly, completely random. I have so many different type of packs like these, those packs, Battle of Chaos. I've been collecting them for several years. It's not that many, but it's still quite a lot. There's these I have, there's um, some duelist packs, newer ones. There's the 25th Carter Century ones. There's a Wild Survivors, there's a... Um, that's Maze of Millennia, the Dimension Force and all, and all of that. There's some old packs, there's some new packs. There's a more Duelist Pack Yugi. There's a Age of Overlord. Wait, Overlord. Yeah, Overlord. Yeah, old, a bunch of random packs. So I'm gonna like try to shuffle them around and I'm gonna close my eyes and I will pick out five random. So that you guys could see. I'm also going to be doing the same thing for Pokemon. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the the two series I have. For both Yu-Gi-Oh! and, Boost and um, Pokemon Booster Packs. Random ones. For the Pokemon ones, I haven't done them in a while. Same for Yu-Gi-Oh! But yeah, uh, I'm just trying to show all the different type of packs I have. There's uh, These are quarter century as well. I kind of forgot how I got them loose, those loose ones. There's another one. Oh no, actually this one is not quarter century. Um, I think I it was on, I saw it at Rite Aid and I got it, same for this one. That was like a couple years ago for these two, maybe like three years ago or so. I have this one that I bought on eBay. And yeah, um, some other ones. So yeah, anyways. I'm gonna try shuffling them somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I guess just like that. I'm hoping the cards don't get damaged. I'm not gonna be too aggressive with it, but uh, I am trying to shuffle them. And I, I guess I'm gonna like have to dig through the packs to pick out five random ones, because the box is not that big. So I can't really, I'm just like putting them on top of each other and trying to shuffle and whatnot. But uh, yeah, anyways, there's a bunch of these together. I kind of don't like that because I might pick out several of them. I think, I think that's good enough. So. Like I said, I'm just going to close my eyes. I have my eyes closed right now. And trust me, I'm not... I don't have my eyes open. I want to do this as random as possible. So even if there's a pack I don't want to open right away. Because like maybe I have only a few or one of them. I'm still going to open it regardless. So I'm going to close my eyes now. I'm shuffling as, as much as I can. I don't know what I'm doing. I can feel the box, so I know that the packs are not falling from the box. All right, I'm gonna pick the first pack. All right, I'm gonna go like underneath. And I don't know what pack that is. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it on this, on the, the, the lid or whatever you wanna call it, the flap maybe. Right, I'm going for the second booster pack. I'm gonna go to the left, like right here. All right, that one. All right, that's, that's two. All right, I'm gonna go for like underneath the middle, somewhere around here. All right, I chose this one. I don't know what this, this is. I'll put it right here, that's three. All right, I'm gonna just randomly choose one from over here 
right here. I'm going like very deep. I don't know where this, what this is. That's four packs. Now the, for the fifth one. Where should I go? I'll just go to the, the top, like right here, like this. And now, let's see, I'll choose this one. Yeah, there we go. So that's the fifth one. All right, I'm gonna put it here and open my eyes. Let's see. I guess you guys couldn't see it, but I put it on here. I just realized it, I put it on this. Anyways, five packs, um, let's see. First is Age of Overlord. Then uh, Circuit Break. The Grand Creators, another The Grand Creators, and Dimension Force. So several of the, I think these are all Saxel packs, I think. I'm not too sure of, from this one. I think this might be Arc 5. Well, yeah, because it's um 25th century. What is the newest Yu-Gi-Oh? I kind of forgot. It's either Arc 5 or um 7s, right? So I think this one might be a 7s pack. I think these two are Saxel, 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 whatever you call it. This one, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Anyways, the two of them fell, I just realized. But uh, anyways, I'm going to put them to the side. So I'm going to do that every single time. And these are the five I'm going to open. I'm going to start off with the Grand Creators because I got two of them. So let's see. So first pack. All right. Um, if I remember, these are all rares. First off is Yukio, 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 I think. Kind of sounds like Yu Gi Oh! Yuki Yo Punk Rising Carp. So very cool. It's a fish fusion, two punk cards or monsters, I mean. Pretty cool. I, I don't play the new Yu Gi Oh! I have don't really have don't really see the anime and whatnot. So I'm not familiar with this one, but it looks very cool. Anyways, Virtual World Heim. Nyan Yan, Nyan Yan, I think, something like that. So, a robot, a, a physic or psychic, it's physic, right? The uh, the type. Then there's Exo Sister Irene, Irene, I think, pretty cool. She's a spellcaster. Then, uh, psychic wielder, wielder, I think, it's pretty cool. There's a psychic tuner. It's either physic or psychic, I'm not quite sure. Then a uh, right of Aramesser, Aramesser, I think. Some, um, where is she? Doesn't really say. She's uh, apparently a fairy with attack 2000 and defense and a four level. That's pretty cool. It is a uh, ultra rare. Kind of barely, you can't barely, I mean, you could barely tell the like i don't know if this is a tree or not but you could see the the girl better than the the rest of the drawing anyways let's see oh that was it was only one holographic i guess then insector exot stag kind of looks like a transformer it's an insect apparently looks more like a robot or a machine i guess insect xyc and then the last card is Exosister Arment. So I'm assuming this is an archetype, the Exosisters. I don't recall hearing about them, but a uh, very cool artwork. Right, next I will do Dimension Force. I've opened several of these before in the past. Right, damn it. Right, there we go. It kind of did not open properly. Um, I know this, there should be like a card trick, I'm not too sure where. I'll go with these three in the middle to the back. All right, Hero Heroic Champion, Jarg Raper, Ra Raper? I, I don't know how you say that, but um, Heroic Champion. Then there are Scare Claw Belone. Is that a, like a big cat or a, like a, some type of wolf? Is a beast but it kind of looks like a wolf but kind of looks like a, a cat as well a big cat that is battle guard cadet 
Is this kind of like the, the other battle guards? The one that Joey and Trishan had? Is this part of the family? 50? 50 attack points and 100 defense? That is so low. Anyways, um, next is... Mater Reactor Anulius Anulius or something like that. Who's that? Kind of looks like a, a monster I recognize. Okay, never mind. Um, that's his head. I thought it was it was that one dragon with uh, no head. At least I think I remember a dragon with no head. Then sun, sunlit sentinel sentinel. That's a pretty cool artwork. He's a warrior. He's a six star and twenty three hundred attack. Then haunted zombies. Pretty cool. It's a bunch of skeletons of like, I think those are dinosaurs. Are they dinosaurs? Doesn't really say, it just says zombies. But it looks like dinosaurs to me. Very cool looking dinosaur bones, if they are dinosaurs. Anyways, um, next there's Ichiroku's Ledger book or something like that. Oh, that's Luster Dragon. Then I thought that was Karibo, but no, it's um that one card. I forgot what you call it. Anyways, uh, ooh, um, ultra rare, Libromancer Fireburst, a ritual, a Siberia's ritual, very cool, it kind of reminds me of a character, kind of forgot who, he reminds me of that, the, uh, the guy from, from, um, fairy tale, but the, the one who, who's a member of fairy tale, but he's, um, um, I forgot what, what are those things that Lucy uses? The the ones with keys? Kind of forgot. But he, he, the member that apparently is uh, one of those key characters, he looks like him, but he it looks like he has Natsu's powers, which is fire. Because the 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 guy I think I'm thinking about does not use fire power. But yeah, he kind of looks like him. He reminds me of him. Anyways, very cool looking card. And then Supreme Sea Mayor. He is the mayor of the sea, the sea, serpent, sea serpents. Oh wait, he's an aqua, never mind. He looks more like a sea serpent, but um, very cool looking card. Anyways, next one. I'll do um, Grand Creators again, why not? So I'm gonna do the same thing. Virtual World Heme Nyan, 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 whatever, whatever you call it. Exo Sister Carp, Carpet di, Divim, Divim, maybe? Di, Divim, Divim, I don't know. I'm assuming it's Divim. So there's an Exo Sister attacking this um, fiend looking creature. Pretty cool looking. Then, ooh, um, a super rare this time instead of an ultra rare. No Punk C. Amin. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. So, uh, a girl. There's like a mask over there. I think that's a mask. Looks more, looks like a, some type of, type of face. There's another like mask here as well. She's a Physic Tuner. Then there's a, either Psychic or Physic. Psychic Wielder, uh, once again. Then Insector Exa Beetle, a XYC monster. He's an insect. I mean, he, he does have Insector in the name. Then Solemn Strike. Not sure if it's uh, one of those good Solemn cards or not. And then Yukio Punk Sharakusai. Sharakusai. Is that different from the other one I got? Or is it the, like the same one? Okay, kind of look different. Yeah, he's different. Okay, cool. But actually the same character now that I think about it. Just different artwork. This one has the like a fish in the background. This one doesn't. So it's the same one. And the fusion, I guess, has the fish in the background. I like this one better. Looks very cool. And it's a fusion as well. Anyways, next pack. I'll go with Circuit Breaker. No, wait. I'll leave Circuit Break for last. I'll go with Ace of Overlord. Because it's one of the newest one, I think. 
Not sure how new, but I know it's new. Newer Yu-Gi-Oh, basically. Damn it, I messed it up. Whatever. I was trying to save the pack. I don't think I've opened this one yet before. Maybe like once. All right, um, I'll do these two to the back. I think it's two, not three. Pendulum Evolution. What are these, like necklaces? There's a, I think that's orange. Orange, blue, green, and purple. Looks pretty cool. It's for Pendulum Monsters. Then uh, Lola Rap. Uh, a rapper, I guess, a female rapper. Pretty cool looking. There's the effect. Then what Kyuki, Kyuki. That's kind of like an ox, I think, with a bunch of thunder gear. He's a thunder synchro effect. Then a card scanner, continuous spell. Then UFO lights. Oh, that, remind, that makes me uh, think of UFO turtle. Mm, illusion, what? Illusion effect? There's a new type. I did not know illusion cards existed. Also, if you guys are hearing a baby crying, my I think my niece fell or something like that. So um, yeah, in case you guys are wondering, because I'm sure you're able to hear it. Anyways, uh, illusion effect. I did not know illusion cards existed. So this is uh, a new typing, I'm assuming. Apparently from 2020, so four years ago, basically, I didn't know those, I did not know they existed. Pretty cool, so that's a new type, UFO light. Anyways, IAS, invas Invasive Alien Species, oh, that's, so that's what it's called, Invasive Alien Species. Pretty cool, this is a reptile. It looks very interesting. Hopefully I get more of those. The immortal bushy mourns the mortal body. Some samurai. I'm assuming, isn't that like a six samurai? One of the six samurai cards? Anyways, Miracle of the Supreme King. What cards are those? Yeah, I'm not too familiar with these cards, so I wouldn't know which ones they are. But there it is. And then for the last card, there's XYC Armor Torpedo. So uh, XYC card. Kind of looks like a shark on his um, arm. Looks very cool. And he's a warrior XYC. And that is it. All right, and now for the last pack, circuit break. So let's see what it contains. Hopefully something better than a super rare. I'll go with these two to the back. All right, crawler. Ranvier, Ranvier, I think, an insect flip effect. Uh, how, how is that an insect? Oh, okay, I see a bunch of legs here. I guess insects have a lot of legs. Then Crawler Gly, Glyle, Glyle, I think. Another insect looking card. Uh, even says insect. Well, it's the same one from the same, um, What's it called? Archetype crawlers. Pretty cool. Then Link Infra Flyer. Infra Flyer? I say Beer's card. Looks like a kite. Anyways, a uh, crawler axon. That's that's a third one. Another insect flip. So these are an archetype that I'm just finding out about. Da Dark Angel, a fairy. Pretty cool. I like the artwork. Then there's Altergist, no, Altergist, Altergist or Altergist, I think. Concuri, Concuri, I think. Some type of like centaur robot, a spellcaster, apparently. Then there's a Sniffer Dragon, White Sniffer. So he sniffs a lot, potentially white stuff. He has a, he's a dragon, Sniffer Dragon. He literally says dragon. Then there's a ultra rare, quiet life. A normal spell, oh, no, I mean a continuous spell. Pretty cool. And then a rare, 
Metaphys, Metaphys Daedalus, De Daedalus, I think, a worm effect card. And that is it, 45 random booster packs. Pretty cool cards. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this from now on. I'm gonna open up the box and just randomly choose one out of all the random booster packs I have. I might fix them around or maybe I'll just leave them like this for the next one. I have to find another or get another shoe box for the Pokemon ones so that I don't have to take them out every single time. If I get new ones, I will add them inside of here. I'll like put them somewhere randomly, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna, from now on, just close my eyes every time, choose out five and then open them. But yeah, anyways, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Check out the video in the playlist above and I'll see you guys in the next video.